Welcome and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to the uh, ninth annual Julius Rubinovitz uh, Center for Public Policy and Finance Conference. Um, I must uh, begin uh, by, uh, where is Mitch? Here. Mitch sitting in the background. So just a quick uh, history of this uh, center. Mitch Julius who's one of our alumni. Uh, through his uh, generous uh, support, this center got started. I got involved just, uh, I guess, a year or two uh, after its uh, inception, it's been a great journey since then. And uh, one of the hallmarks of uh, um, our experience is this annual conference that we have. And so this year we are especially pleased with the, um, with the uh, set of uh, people who agreed to join us. So let me just thank in general, and then obviously we'll be thanking them in person as well to all of our speakers and participants uh, throughout this conference. Very excited to, 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 to hear them speak. Um, and of course, uh, all of you who have uh, joined us, uh, there's be a lot of time for open discussions and conversations, so I hope uh, you make the most of that time. Um, before I introduce the, the, the subject, I want to, there are a number of uh, people um, and, 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 and uh, groups around the campus that I would like to thank. This is really a collaborative effort, uh, and every year we try to bring new partners in to do this uh, conference, and this year is, particularly uh, feels good to me because this is a topic which is very close to my heart. I started work in economics as a development economist, and so I've always thought of these questions. Um, Meanwhile, so uh, I, I just want to thank the um, Empirical Studies of Conflict group. Um, Ethan is here somewhere, right here in front of me, um, and Jake Shapiro uh, from Politics right there. Uh, you know, these two uh, gentlemen, uh, you know, they have been sort of the foundation of this putting this, uh, this, this, this group together. Um, and, and, and where is uh, Leonard? Uh, Leonard Bonchikon, he, uh, you know, um, he's a, uh, I don't feel I need to thank him as much because he's my next door neighbor as well. So I, I, you know, it's like I see him so often that I, uh, but, 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 you know, it's really been wonderful to, to have uh, this uh, group of people working uh, together. And of course, all of the, all of the staff. So I already mentioned the Empirical Studies of Conflict group. Then we must thank uh, PEERS, which is the Princeton Initiative for International and Regional Studies. They have been very supportive of this. And in fact, they have been so supportive that this annual conference will live on much longer than you might anticipate otherwise, because PEERS graciously um, has funded for the next three, four years uh, a number of uh, research initi initiatives that you can kind of think of as follow-on um, inspiration uh, from the theme of this conference. So we are really looking forward to this community growing, uh, not just here uh, for the, on this couple of, couple of days, but in the years to come. Um, I must also thank, of course, the Woodrow Wilson School. We are all housed within the Woodrow Wilson School uh, of Public Policy here at Princeton. And uh, finally, uh, the Paul and Marcia um, um, Whites. Uh, Center for Contemporary China for their uh, support as well. Um, in terms of the theme of the conference, as you can see, we'll be talking about finance in the most difficult places in the world out there, what we are calling fragile states more broadly. Uh, unfortunately, there are a number of wide regions of the world that face various sorts of conflict. Uh, think of refugees, think of you know many changes that are uh, that are happening because of uh, a sort of politics shifting, because of uh, security issues, because of climate change, and so on, um, and that uh, makes it a real challenge to think of capital flowing into those places for investment to really take root and for those populations to get out of poverty in the long run. Um, so it's really a deep sort of a, a, a problem. It's a problem that a lot of us has thought, uh, us have thought about at, at the sort of the ac academic level. But what we have tried to do, you will see throughout this conference, is we've tried to combine the academics with the with the sort of the policy uh, uh, side of things as much as possible, so we can kind of have both sides of the equation on the same table. Um, to have a more meaningful conversation about just trying to understand not just the nature of the problem, but also possible solutions that we can, that we can um, think about. I often think of 
universities as kind of providing that platform for these kind of conversations to take to take root and hopefully provide an intellectual direction to how we can more meaningfully solve these collective problems that we face as humanity. So without further um, ado, let me um, introduce our first session, which is going to be on macro policy, capital flows, and investments. And the moderator for that is going to be my colleague, uh, Adrian Matre, who's a professor of uh, economics here at Princeton University. And he will introduce the rest of the panel. Um, we will end this panel at uh, 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 4.40. And after that, we will have our uh, keynote um, conversation with Raghu Rajan, um, who's also uh, with us here tonight. And we'll, that will be followed with the reception. So Adrian, over to you. <laughs>